I've never tried Bitcoin mining before, but I have been investing in Bitcoin since 2015, and mining always seemed interesting to me. Now seems like the perfect time to try because the Bitcoin market is down, so theoretically, unless it goes further down, I'd be able to see like a minimum of how much money I'm able to make and only go up from there. I looked at a bunch of cheap Bitcoin mining rigs and there's a bunch out there, but then I also realized that I could just use my Dell computer because it has a really good processor and doing it on my computer is a good risk-free way to start out and just see what's going on with the whole Bitcoin mining thing. I'm gonna take you through the process of me trying this out with absolutely no knowledge beforehand and show you how I do it. So hopefully if you have no knowledge, you could maybe do it too. And then at the end of the 24 hours, I'm gonna check in and see how much money I made. I have no idea like how much this actually makes. I don't think it's a ton, but hopefully it's more than like a single cent a day. And to make things a little more interesting, I'm also gonna put $623 into Bitcoin mining mining stock options to put some stake in the success of Bitcoin mining companies that do this on a larger scale, but we'll set that aside for now and come back to it later. A simple way to look at Bitcoin mining is that for every Bitcoin transaction that's made, some computer needs to carry out that transaction and use its processor to do that. So you can offer up your computer to carry out those transactions and in exchange for your computer processing power and probably some electricity costs, they're gonna give you some free Bitcoin that you can then take out of your account and transfer to US dollars or use however you want to. Now, a lot of the times you're using some giant computer that's built specifically for Bitcoin mining, but I've also heard that Dell computers are really powerful, especially the Dell XPS 15 and the Intel Core processor. So I'm gonna see if it's able to mine Bitcoin just on its own. I have a few YouTube videos pulled up here to make sure that I'm doing everything right. But the first thing that I did was download the mining application, which is called NiceHash. It's supposed to work pretty well. And now that it's downloaded and I installed these plugins here that are the actual miners on the application, if that makes sense, I'm gonna go over to the dashboard. I'm gonna click start mining. And it says benchmarking now, which means that it's seeing how my computer works and which of those plugins works the best on my computer. And while it's benchmarking, I'm gonna go into the settings here, and based on the YouTube videos I watched, I'm just gonna click auto start mining, allow multiple instances, and run on startup, so that every time I turn on my Dell computer, it's gonna start mining, and it's gonna keep mining, even if there's any power outages or whatever, it'll, it'll restart doing that. There's something called like overclocking your GPU or something, I didn't understand how to do it or necessarily want to deal with trying to do it in the right way so it doesn't screw up my computer. So I'm not doing any of that and I'm just gonna leave this running the way that it is. And now that I'm back to the normal display, it says that it's mining and it shows the current profitability per day. It started off by saying it makes two cents per day and now it says that it's making 18 cents per day. So that could definitely fluctuate, but I wanna leave this for a full 24 hours and see how much money it's made. See how much money it makes in an actual real world test. And the last thing I did was set it so it's not gonna turn off while it's plugged in. And once I just plug this in, I can see that it's running and it'll stay like that for as long as I want it to. Running this computer script stuff that I have no idea what it means, but somehow it is generating me free money or something. <laughs> so we'll check back in and see how it does. Whew. And now, believe it or not, I am on the other side of the state. I'm in Eastern Massachusetts where I have my internship three to four days a week. But my laptop is still plugged in, still mining away at home in Western Massachusetts. And I know that because if I pull up the NiceHash app here on my phone, it shows me that my laptop is currently mining at a rate of 14 cents per day. It has been just over 48 hours since I started mining crypto and my total assets so far are 51 cents plus five cents of unpaid mining balance. So in total, I've made 56 cents from my laptop just mining away 
I haven't touched it since then. And in actuality, that's about 25 cents in the first 24 hours. Plus, it's good to keep in mind that it does take electricity to mine Bitcoin. And to be honest with you, I have no idea how much actual cost of electricity I've used. So it could be more than those 56 cents. But if you're like me and you're a college student, during the school year, I do have free electricity. So theoretically, I could mine as much Bitcoin as I want and not have to deal with those electricity costs. Now, my laptop's kind of a powerhouse, but I knew it wasn't gonna generate any kind of crazy money because it is a laptop and people are getting giant computers that are made purely for Bitcoin mining and getting hundreds of them and making Bitcoin mining farms. So I can't compete with them. But I did wanna spice this up a little bit. So the day before I started Bitcoin mining myself, I put call options on three different Bitcoin mining companies, which essentially means I was betting that they would go up in value. It's a very risky thing to do. However, my bet kind of played off so far. I put in $623 and came out so far with $1,102, giving me a profit of 57% or $479. My options don't expire until next spring, so let me know in the comments if I should hang on to them or cash out now. What do you think about the future of Bitcoin mining? I can't say anything for sure, but I know that this was a fun challenge to try, and it's pretty cool to see some numerals come up on my screen and my computer tell me that I'm making money while it's just sitting there. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and maybe subscribe for more cool videos like this. That's it. See ya in the next one.